Hi, I'm Leonard from WP Staging. Today I will show you how you can easily migrate your WordPress website from WordPress.com to a self-hosted WordPress.org website. I will show you that on my computer. There are five steps required for the migration process. Let's dive into the details and see how to switch from WordPress.com to WordPress.org. Step 1. How to export WordPress.com content. Before moving your existing content and media files to your new site, you need to export posts, pages and categories etc. from WordPress.com. First, log into your WordPress.com blog and click on the WP Admin section. On the left, in the dashboard sidebar, click on Tools and select Export. If you want to export all pages, posts and categories, Press the export all button, wait for some time and you will see the message your export was successful and a download link that will contain a zip file that includes all posts, pages, media files, navigation menus and more. Remember the downloaded file location as you are going to use this file to import content to the new hosted website. In order to be able to import content to your new website, you have to unzip the downloaded file and you will receive the XML data. Step 2. Import your content to the new WordPress site. To import data to your new website, you need to have WordPress installed on your new website to continue moving the blog. Most hosting providers come with an easy one-click installation that allows you to install WordPress at a glance. Log into the dashboard of your new WordPress site by going to example.com slash wp admin. Then head over to Tools again and click on Import. This new page will appear where we will install the official import plugin for WordPress. Click on Install Now and WordPress will start installing the plugin without requiring you to leave the page. After installing the plugin, the same link changes to Run Importer. Click on it and continue. On this page, we will be prompted to upload the file that we have already downloaded in step 1. Click on Choose File and then select the XML file. Then click on the Upload File and Import button. WordPress will import your data from your local system to your new site. Now you can see two options, Assign Author and Import Attachments. You can choose which author you want to assign the blog posts to. Either create a new user profile and assign all the imported posts to an original author or assign the posts to an existing author profile. Don't forget to check the box Download and Import File Attachments to keep your posts from breaking. This also helps with importing all media files from the WordPress.com website. Click Submit and WordPress will move everything from your old site. Importing data to your new website might take some time, depending on the size of your site. Once it's done, you will see an import success message. Step 3 is to check out your new hosted site for any errors. The posts and pages will appear the same, however it's necessary to double check your site to confirm that content and images have been imported successfully. To import your old photos, you can also use the auto upload images plugin. If any errors have occurred, check out our debug mode video. There will be a link in the video description. Step 4 is to redirect the old WordPress.com site to the WordPress.org site or to make it private. Once you're done importing your content, the next step is to redirect your WordPress.com site to your new self-hosted site. That is to ensure that you maintain your search engine rankings and that if you have any users click on your old site, it will send people to your new website. There is the automated variant of receiving a redirect against payment and the option to switch the page to private. Go to your WordPress.com site, open the settings and click on redirect the site. Enter your new domain in the given box, click on go and handle the payment. WordPress will charge a fee for this service. How to make your old site private. 
Go to the WP admin on your WordPress.com site. Go to settings and then to reading. And then check the box. I would like my site to be private, visible only to myself and users I choose. Save the changes and you're done. After watching this video, you are well prepared and you know how to migrate your WordPress website from WordPress.com to WordPress.org. If you have any questions left, drop me a line in the comment section down below. Leave us a thumbs up and follow our channel if you want to receive more helpful tutorials and learn more about WordPress plugins, themes, development and everything else that is important to make your website more successful to get more visitors. Don't forget to ring the bell to be the first when we've got a new video for you. Thank you for choosing WP Staging and thank you for trusting us.